The Occupy Wall Street movement has now grown so big, even Fox News finds itself forced to pay attention. But when Fox correspondent Griff Jenkins went down to lower Manhattan last week to give the demonstrators a taste of fair and balanced reporting, he instead ran into a rather eloquent protester named Jesse LaGreca, who calmly explained what the Occupy Wall Street movement is really all about. Shockingly, Fox never saw fit to put the video on air. Fortunately, someone else captured it on video. I'd say that we didn't take our cue of anybody, really. It became a more spontaneous movement. As far as seeing this end, I wouldn't like to see it end. I'd like to see the conversation continue. This is what we should have been talking about after 2008 when the economy collapsed. We basically patched a hole on the tire and said, yeah, let the car keep rolling. Unfortunately, it's fun to talk to the uh, propaganda machine in the media, especially conservative leading that we're such as yourself, because we find that we can't get conversations on the Department of Justice's ongoing investigation of News Corporation for which you are an employee. But we can certainly ask questions like, you know, why are the poor engaging in class warfare? Now, after 30 years of having our living standards decrease while the wealthiest 1% have had it better than ever, I think it's time for maybe, I don't know, some participation in our democracy that isn't funded by news cameras and gentlemen such as yourself. Okay, but I'll, let, me, let me give you this challenge, Jesse. Sure. We're here giving you an opportunity on the, uh, on the record with Credit Ancestry to put any message you want out there, give you fair coverage, and I'm not going to in any way That's awesome. be biased about it. So there is an exception to the case because you wouldn't be able to get your message out without us, yes? No, certainly. I mean, take for instance when Glenn Beck was doing his protest and he called the president a person who hates white people and white culture. That was a low moment in American's history, and you guys kind of had a big part in it. So I'm glad to see you coming around and kind of paying attention with the other 99% of Americans are paying attention to, as opposed to the far right fringe who would love to just destroy the middle class entirely. All right, fair enough. You have a, a voice and an important reason to, to criticize myself, my company, and anyone else. But let me ask you this. In fairness, does this administration, or President Obama, have any criticism as to the, the financial situation in the country? Myself, uh, as well as many other people, would like to see a little bit more economic justice or social justice, Jesus stuff, as far as feeding the poor, health care for the sick. You know, I find it really entertaining that people like to hold the Bill of Rights up while they're screaming at gay soldiers, but they just can't wrap their heads around the idea that a for-profit health care system doesn't work. So let's just look at it like this. If we want the president to do more, let's talk to him on a level that actually reaches people, instead of asking for his birth certificate and wasting time with total nonsense like cilantro. So good. Producers always have more video than they have airtime. Of course, Greta Van Susteren tells the Mediaite blog that her team was doing a two-minute story about economic issues that prompted the protests. And apparently that did not include Jesse LaGreca.